Hello and what is up everybody, welcome back to another FTB Inventions. Uh, quick note, uh, my thing broke. My woodcutter thing broke. Uh, so we had to do a quick little old repair with some diamond arenos. I think it's about two diamonds to repair the whole thing. So really, for the amount of time it's lasted, and the amount of wood and everything we've gotten out of it, that is ridiculously OP. I mean, well over 13,000. Well over. 13,000 uh, oak logs for two diamonds that's sure you definitely can exchange that back pretty straightforward um, other than that I've been running into a little bit of an issue with the lava is that you know I every time the server restarts I actually have to go back in the nether to get it to go again so we might waver away from the lava uh, situation here in the future just because I don't want to deal with all that stuff and if we don't have to, we won't. Um, let's quickly head on over to our dome. Yes, indeed. Let's head on over to our new base of excitement. Um, I've been working a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, on the interiors and stuff down here. And we do want to work on some other stuff. But as you can see, I've started to work a little bit on a pathway. Now, quick note about the grass path by at Futurum a futurum at futurum you do need to get like a vanilla tool to do this i'm not sure if some of the other ones do work but for example my flux infused one does not work for it uh so you do have to get an iron shovel and right click on grass just like that um or you know some other tool of some sort but i'm starting to work on it now for those of you that don't know um i played on a server called kingdom craft with some wonderful people, and they're all pretty much in Hermitcraft now. Um, Iskel, Iskel85, PythonGB, Rendog, uh, Cubfan, Good Times with Scar, just wonderful people. And they really helped me uh, quite a bit when it came to, you know, some of this type of stuff. The vanilla mechanics. It was a vanilla server. And they, a lot of them do play modded though too, so make sure you check them out. They're wonderful people, but we, we came up with a whole bunch, we brainstormed a ton of things, and just making things look more interesting in general. So, you know, throwing some coarse dirt in there. I found this mixed dirt from Engineer's Toolbox. That kind of looks cool too. It's a little bit muted and everything, but I think it looks great. Um, but we're going to decorate this place out. So this is going to be our main hub for everything. Um, but it's also going to be pretty much all decoration. Maybe a couple useful things. Uh, maybe a farm or something like that. But for the most part, it's pretty much going to be decoration. Uh, over here, I've started building my viaduct. It doesn't go anywhere. But that's kind of what I'm thinking for that. I might change it a little bit. We'll see. Um, but yeah, and then we're going to have these pathways. We're going to have intricacies and, you know, decorations and you name it around here. It's going to continue to develop as we go. But I've also set up a transmutation tablet down here with, you know, our own book and everything so we can transmute all the things. And we got blaze powder loaded in there so we can grab whatever we need as well. Um, I moved our workshop tables down here as well. Reconfigured those for right now. These will be temporary. Uh, I'm not sure about the grass path alongside of this. I don't really like it. So we'll probably change that up. But as you can see, we need to get working on something better. We need to get going on our applied energistics. I've decided that now's the time, because why not? And to do that, we need a couple of things. And one of the first things that I want to get is an energy acceptor. Now, the problem that we have is we don't have any power out here at all. We have zero power in our dome at this current time. So we might need to get some sort of a dimensional transceiver or maybe even a tesseract. Yeah, I might do a tesseract. Well, actually, that requires endurium. Maybe we'll do a dimensional. Mm -hmm. That's not too, too bad. A little annoying. Um, but we need to get power from our other base to here for right now. And we're going to need to use these a lot more anyways. So I definitely need to get power. But before we get into that, let's first make ourselves the EU Energy Acceptor. This guy, 
or just the energy acceptor. I, ne I don't know why I always say EU. It's just an energy acceptor, and it's pretty straightforward. You can just do a flux crystal uh, or a pure with some iron and some quartz glass. So flux crystals are pretty straightforward. Charged certus, nether quartz, and redstone dust in a puddle. So I've made a little pond over here, and this was on purpose. So boom, boom, and boom. Oh, dang. Disable. That'll help. Boom, boom. And boom. Yeah. There we go. Fluix. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, so that's enough, at least for right now. The main thing that we need to get working on is we need to get a couple of things. So next is the quartz glass, which is just that right there. So we can do the quartz glass. We can do a little bit of iron, which I believe I put it all away and I didn't mean to, but that's why we have the tablet here so that anything that I forget from the base up above, we have the technology to do it. So boom, this will give us our energy acceptor from Applied Energistics 2. Um, that's basically going to convert and use the power that we have and make it ready to go for the Applied Energistics. The next thing that we need, we only have four charged Certus Quartz, so I do want to make a charger here. And for that, we're going to need one more Flux Crystal. So no big deal there. We can do this. It's pretty straightforward and easy, so that's nice. Um, Magnets do kind of tend to cause problems with that. Uh, but we can do that, and we need another 5 iron. Going through our EMC pretty quick. <laughs> Didn't mean to leave the iron behind. Okay, so that'll give us the charger. Good. So now what we can do is we can actually use that to charge our Certus. And we can probably set that up automatically as well, so that we always have a decent amount lying around. Um, other than that, the next thing that I do really want to get is an ME controller, but this guy requires some pure Fluix crystals only, uh, and some Sky Stone. Now, Sky Stone, I don't think I've found any Sky Stone yet, so we might have to go find a Meteor. And we need some Fluix Seeds. Uh, so, for example, we have the one flux. Let's convert the rest of this. So three. We'll convert the rest of this into flux crystals. And then what we do is we combine that with sand, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we can get... Let's, let's get the seven. Let's do it all. And we combine it like that. Is that not what it is? Or is it the dust? Flux seeds. There they are right there. Oh, it is the dust. Okay, so we do need to pulverize them up. So let's go do the pulverizing, and we'll get that done. I need to start moving everything over here. But I do want to set up my machine center um, before we start moving all of the machines over, because they're not going to be in the main dome. And I'm going to try my best to do as much automation as possible. I know sometimes I lack in that, um, but I'm going to do my best to try to get a lot of just stuff automatically working. And then hopefully down the road, we won't even need to use the transmutation tablet nearly as often. Okay, so that with the sand like that is going to give us the fluid seeds. Now, by theory, we can drop these in any pond of water and they're going to start to grow. This process is going to take a while a long while and I don't believe we have the necessary things to get the gr crystal growth accelerators done not really I don't have enough charge certus uh, mainly because I just used it all so this will just sit in water it won't despawn or anything and then hopefully we will have some pure flux as we go um, other than that I'm going to get a few things together so that we can start getting our power over to the other area all right, so a couple quick things here. We actually ran into a bit of a snag. Uh, speaking of which, I don't even have crafting tables in here. Anyways, uh, we're just going to make a quick crafting table up here because I took them all down with me, and I realized that we need a soul binder to get ourselves the trans... Um, whatchamacallit? The dimensional transceiver. So we need to get this thing made ASAP. So we got everything that we need to get it made. Uh, that guy there, we got green with green, 
that and that. That's going to give us the soul binder. Another uh, pretty straightforward block. Nothing too crazy about it. Just from Ender IO. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I am going to get it in Octatic as well because, well. Why not? They're pretty easy for us to make. So we'll get that powered up. And the reason we need this is we need a soul vial with an enderman, which was really easy to get. Uh, 10 levels and a vibrant crystal. Okay, 10 levels. Good. And a vibrant crystal. Use my levels. Boom, it'll shoot it across. We do get the soul vial back, but we also get this ender crystal. Now, sadly, you can't use this guy for anything else. That's really a shame. Uh, but it is used for the dimensional transceivers. Uh, if you go the dark solarium side of the jet plates and the staff of traveling, which is kind of useful, actually. But that will give us the ender crystal. Now, I believe what we need is another four of this. And then do we have enough already to make the dimensional transceiver? I think we do. I think that was the last step. Oh, we need a couple pieces of fused quartz. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Dang. All right. Quartz. One, two, three. Easily done. We can get this made up pretty quickly. One, two, and three. Good. Okay. So, a couple pieces of this fuse quartz, and we should be good to go on this going forward. Uh, I don't know why I have all of that. Anyways, um, so we'll get ourselves our first dimensional transceiver, but guess what? We need another, don't we? For this whole thing to work, we do need another one. So I'm just going to run down and get all the things that we need to make it happen. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we have the two now. So the first thing that I'm going to do is we're just going to attach this up to our capacitor here. We'll just put it right there, for example. And you can see that it's already full of energy. Just completely full. Now, let's see... We want to label this, and we want to make it private. Private channel 1. Uh, let's go... Uh, no, instead of that, let's just... Should we name it something different? Let's see. Um, let's go with main power. And we're going to private. And we're going to add that. Okay. And this guy is going to send main power. All right, so this will always be sending the main power and really nothing else, none of this other stuff. There's some cool stuff that you can do with these dimensional transceivers, though, if I do say so myself. Uh, so then we're going to head on over. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit more of you with me because we'll need it. And you know what? Should we do... Hmm, should we take like a hopper and stuff too? I don't know. I don't know. Sadly, you can't EMC the the charge so you do have to set up a system here so that's a thing for sure so um let's see <laughs> you know what we'll leave it for now do we want to leave it for now <laughs> i don't know we'll leave it for now it's fine we'll leave it for now and uh we'll go over here okay and we will head on down to the base and at least get this started now I don't want these machines to be seen, right? They don't want to be up in our beautiful little area here or anything like that. So Game. Game. You fine? Okay, good. So I did dig out a little bit of a basement, and this is where we're going to start setting up some of this stuff. So we're going to start having our AE system with some of the control panels and whatnot coming out the top here. And then we're going to have all of this over here. So this is going to receive main power. Good. That should automatically be transferred. And then we will just attach it to an EU acceptor. I think that this will work. And by theory, that should work. Yeah, we got power in our charger. Good. So then as you click this in, boom, it's charged, right? You can just see up in Wayla. That's probably the easiest way to look, and it's charged. Okay, so it's very straightforward to use this thing. But this is going to give us a little bit of this charge Certus Quartz. I'm going to keep getting some charge. I want to make a ton of Fluix because why not? Actually, I didn't even see if it had an EMC value. Maybe we don't need to even worry about this. Let's take a look. Um, applied energistics. That does not. Okay. That's a bad sign, by the way. And neither does that. Okay, so you do have to 
you do have to go through this process. You can't just use EMC or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to get a whole bunch of this just in my own time here. And we'll be back to carry on with some applied energistics. All right, so we're back here. And I've decided that these things are going to take way too long to grow. So uh, let's worry about making ourselves some growth accelerators. We have the energy acceptor already so we might as well put these to good use and uh, we can make about four or five of these that would be great uh, so the first thing that we need is we need this quartz fiber uh, so let's look at getting some of that and some ME cables overall so we do have the technology to get some of that good and we should be able to get a few things of ME cables how much do I need I don't I haven't done the math, so we'll leave it. We'll leave it like that for now. Uh, we need at least, I'd like to get four of those. I think that's a good, you know what? Four is probably going to do us anyways for right now. So we'll just, we'll worry about getting four of these up and running. Okay, good. Four growth accelerators. Awesome. Um, we do need a bucket of water as well. Pretty easy. We got this big old pond over here. Good, and let's head on downstairs. Now, we have our energy acceptor right here, and I should, you know what, I should make a few more cables, just because we can get a couple. Eh, you know what, let's make a few, because I'm sure we're going to need them here right away. All right, good. So, right here, for example, we will do it pretty straightforward, and we'll go just like this. I think this will work just fine. So we're going to put the crystal growth accelerators like that. The puddle of water goes in the middle. That's where the seeds are going to end up. Now, the main thing here, though, is we do need to have some cabling and power going to all this stuff. So there's our first one. And that won't connect to the side there, will it? I don't think it does. That's okay. We have the technology. We have the additional cabling as well. So we can go like that. Um, good. Let's go like this. And get this cable ran this way as well. So those two growth accelerators are working. Um, probably draining our power quite a bit. And I'm just going to go around and get a few more here. Uh, we do need a few more cables as well. Uh, let's do that. Actually, can we just... Oh, we can access it from the underside. That works great. There we go. Eight more. I know that this isn't the most efficient or anything like that setup, but for right now, this is exactly what we're going to do to speed up the process of us getting our ME controller. Now, again, I know that you can do all of this without the ME controller, and you can set up a pretty nice system to get it done. But... For myself, I, I usually prefer a little ME controller in my life. It tends to make things a little bit better, in my opinion. Um, let's just put that back. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, but this system should do the job for right now and get us a decent amount of stuff, or at least some of those Fluix things. Good. And they shouldn't take nearly as long, which is also wonderful. Um, so hopefully... We get it pretty quickly here. Yeah, they're already starting to grow. You can see it before your own eyes. So I'm going to be back once they're all fully grown up, and uh, we'll uh, proceed on. All right, so we're back here, and I did manage to get some, uh, some of the stone, the sky stone. Now, it's actually really easy to get. Uh, you can craft it just with some smooth stone and some coal dust, which obviously you can pull all out of your EMC system. So we have a bit of sky stone, which is great. All eight of them, for example. And we do have enough. I made a few more uh, pure flux crystals here, just in the off camera. And what else does this thing need again? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a problem. All right. So we are almost there almost uh, but we need to get this guy as well so we need a couple of sticky pistons do we not have sticky pistons we have pistons we have slime 
Why don't we have sticky pistons? Anyways, I'll have to uh, deal with that a little bit later, because, well, why not? Uh, so a couple of sticky pistons we need for this inscriber. We need a flux and some iron. So we should be good to go to get ourselves at least one of these. I don't want to use... Well, you know what? Let's use the pure. Yeah. Sure, why not? Um, and that'll give us an inscriber. Very good. Same kind of thing applies for down here, is we need to tie this in to our power system, and we need to utilize it accordingly. Now, what we do require is some of the presses. Now, the quartz cutting knife does not work in this mod pack, so you cannot go that route, but we do need to get ourselves a few of these presses. So we need the calculation press, which is a rolling machine. A rolling machine? Who does that? Who does that? All right, rolling machine it is. Um, so four pistons, crafting table, etc. All right, four pistons should be pretty easy to go. Somebody's alarm is going off outside. I apologize if you can hear that. Uh, crafting table, which we don't have in the system for whatever reason, because I haven't done it yet. Boom, good. And this should give us the rolling machine. Excellent. Now, I'm just going to throw it down right down here for now, because we do have that power here, um, but it's obviously going to move in the near future. Uh, so we need iron blocks. Um, so let's get a bit of iron. Uh, we have a little bit. So let's get some iron blocks. Three might be enough. And we need to get all of the different presses uh, that we require. Okay, press... Where are they? Right here. So we need to get the engineering press, which is that plus a diamond, okay? We need to get the logic, which is that plus gold, and we need to get the silicon, which is that with silicon. So we need one diamond, we need one gold, and one silicon to complete this. And then we're also going to need to get a calculation, but we're a little bit off from doing that uh, down the road here. So we'll put in these guys. In the rolling machine, we'll do a diamond and click to craft. You have to do that if you're only crafting one, if you don't have multiple type thing. Uh, then we're going to do the logic. That'll be good. The engineering one we definitely need here right away. So let's take out the logic and let's do the silicon as well. Good. Now we're going to need another... Actually, can we access this from the bottom? We can. Oh, that is nice. We're going to need another diamond and another piece of silicon to get this thing done. So first things first, we're gonna throw the diamond in here with an engineering press. That's going to give us one of the things that we require, which is the printed engineer circuit. Then we're going to throw in the silicon press with a silicon, and that's going to give us our silicon, printed silicon, good. And then we throw those three things in together with a piece of redstone, and that's going to give us our engineering processor. Good. Now, that's one of them. Of course, I wanted to make a few of these, about eight more. So I'm going to get all the necessary things. I have a whole bunch of diamonds back at the base. I don't want to waste my EMC on that. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of all of that ready to go. And uh, we'll get all of these ME controllers done. All right, so the final couple steps that we're working on here is we need an annihilation core, and we also need to get ourselves a, this guy, the formation core, that's the one. I think it goes this way, if I'm not mistaken, along with a logic processor, it's going to give us an ME terminal. That is great. And then I wanna take this ME terminal and I wanna make it into an ME crafting terminal, which basically allows you to access everything and do all of the crafting at the same time. Perfect, more achievements, awesome. Um, so this guy's going to end up going right here, just like so like that on the ground, no big deal whatsoever. Um, so that's going to be our main access point. Now we have all of the energy and this and that over here, which we don't really need hooked up and draining our power at the moment. But the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the ME controllers here. These guys right here, we have eight of them and we're gonna get all eight. And we're going to start this process as well. So 
the way I want to do this is not that guy there, but just like so. We are going to run across the way. Um, let's see. You know what? Let's do five wide. Yeah. We'll just do five wide for now. Good. Like that. Excellent. Now, this whole setup that we have over here, we're actually going to disable that we built earlier on. And we're going to remove our dimensional transceiver. And that guy is going to go directly on the ME controller right there. Like that. And boom! There's our... ME controllers up and running. Now when we attach this like so to there, we have ourselves a bit of a system that is operational. Now some of this stuff I'm going to leave down here because well everything's going to end up being down here. But for right now we have ourselves an ME storage system. Great. Now we can access this thing. It's online. It's ready to go. But we don't have anything in our storage yet. And to do that, I want to get some ME drives. So we're going to need a few more diamonds and a little bit of cabling. You know what? I have the cabling. So let's just do a couple of these while we're here and get ourselves at least the one ME drive. So down in here, we're going to need our presses for engineering. Good. Go and go. That guy goes in there. Perfect. Uh, Hopper, by the way, works amazingly well. It puts it in and it'll put the next one in because this thing cannot handle stacks or multiples of items. All right. Um, then we also need the silicone. Boom. We can get that. Excellent. Oh, we're out of power. Oh, boy. Um, that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. We've ran out of power. Oh, I forgot all about that, didn't I? Okay, we need to remove this. Okay, I need the... I need this inscriber. Good. And we'll just throw it down right there. That way it'll get power again. And then we can input all of these things back in accordingly. Good. Engineering. Give me the diamond. All right. So now that should be working again, which it is. Good. And that way we can complete this process. Once I have these last couple things, we are going to proceed to get the ME drive. All right. So here is our ME drive. Very good. Very nice indeed. I'm going to place this guy down here as well. And just for right now, I'm going to place it right there just because it's attached. I'm going to work to move all of these around, but I need more cabling and a couple other things. And we're coming up to a wrapping up point. Uh, so there's our ME drive. Now, of course, in there, we can't store anything until we get an actual storage cell in there. Now, they're not too difficult to make or anything like that, but I think we're actually out of time for right now. I'd love to hear what you guys have to think. Obviously, we got a long ways to go for decor-wise and whatnot, but uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. If you think that this system is going to work good, um, I'm going to start to you know place things a little bit more strategically around and you know get a couple other things done here while we're you know, working on it. And uh, yeah, other than that, I think that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys are loving inventions as much as I am. I'm having a blast, but I'm going to get ourselves an, an, a couple storage cells and hopefully we can migrate some of our storage stuff over to here. Next episode. Thank you so much and have a good one.